Hi, this is Ann, and I just want to show you the reason that you're having challenges uh, tracing this mini mouse. She is what you would uh, first say is very low resolution because when you zoom in on it, you see all of this fuzz that is going on. Pixelization is beginning to take place. The more you zoom in, that is not a vector image. <laughs> With a vector image, you're going to have thicker, darker lines, and no matter how you zoom it or how you enlarge it, it is not going to uh, start getting jagged on the uh, edges. Also, with um, uh, a raster image, which is what this is, the red color just blends right in with the black. The white circle just blends in with the black. There's no thick, distinct line like it is even her eyelashes really aren't and so when you try and trace it this is what you end up with I'll reset it to the default and this is what you get in the very beginning if you just said okay and traced it you lose details of the hands the eyes because where you're losing your detail, the software is saying, I don't know where one piece begins and the other piece ends. It's all just in there, blended in there together. <clears throat> so I'll delete this. And since this is default, what you really want to get is the entire image to be an outline like the shoes, except whatever is black in the original will always be black uh, in your preview and your trace. Everything else should be an outline, just like you see the shoe is an outline. And so with this being so dark, naturally you would want to decrease the threshold. And I can decrease it to where the bow and the dress are all an outline as it should be and click OK. But when I do, we've lost so much other detail with it. So lightening it up is not going to work. Obviously, darkening is not. But we'll go back to the threshold of where it was here. And now let's try to increase it to see if we can get the hands to show up more. But as we do that, we may get the hands to be darker. But you see the shoes are beginning to feel. And pretty soon you're going to have just one black glob that's taking place. So you can waste a lot of time. Let me hit reset. You can waste a lot of time trying to uh, trace uh, and convert a raster image um, but I would spend my time trying to find a vector image that's going to be a whole lot more easier to trace and usually with cartoons you can uh, nine times out of ten find that vector image and I have a video on how to find it but you basically are going to uh, either type mini mouse vector image and if that doesn't give you a, the vector that you want then you need to upload the this image to Google and search by image not by typing in words but I've already typed in mini mouse uh, vector images and I copied it Let me show it to you I copied it and when you look at her she looks very different you can see the thicker lines everything looks thicker you can see the higher resolution she's going to trace really 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 good so i did my file copy now i'm just going to click on paste so let's see if i can get her about the same size to compare so that you can see the difference in what you are working on it's like the line is so faded it's almost a gray here it's black it's distinct so all of the different pieces you can see um the line is much thicker or it, the resolution is better so now let me trace this one and that's at the 45 so obviously that still isn't going to work so we have to reduce the threshold I only had to reduce it to like 41 and that probably is going to get what we need. So I'll click OK and let's take a look at it. We don't have any broken lines. The only thing that I see is this little piece here should be uh, an outline and it's not. So I'm just going to delete it, click on it again and I'm going to reduce the number until this little black piece is also white. 
and looks like it is now. And that was at 36. So let's see if we lost any detail. Nope, we didn't lose any detail at all. So this is going to trace um, perfectly. So this is the one, and I'll shrink it down some. This is what you're working from. This is what I found using Minnie Mouse vector image. And this is going to be the trace. I'll just move it off of this design box area over here. So with it highlighted, now you can do break apart and everything turns black. And from that point, all of these little bounding boxes are the cut pieces that you're going to have. I'm not going to color the entire piece because I saw that, you know, you know how to do all of that. But I'm just going to do a couple um, parts of it. So I like to use the edit path by nodes so that I can move it around and it can show me where all my pieces are and I don't have to guess um, where they are. So we'll start with the skirt. And I'm just holding that shift key down, try to get all the parts of uh, her shoe. I also will zoom in, not make the image larger, but just zoom in. And I notice that this is white. And the reason it's white, because it's a broken line there. Uh, so I'm going to be able to get these two red, but I have to fix this. And this is the yellow, other yellow part of her shoe. And that happens sometimes. Now you can spend time fixing it or you can go back and retrace it and reduce the threshold uh, even more that's up to you whichever may be the, the you know the lesser of of time spent i think that's a little petticoat there i think that is too and this i thought was red Maybe it's white. And then there's going to be another piece that was there. Nope, I was wrong. This little piece here. I'm here to space bar to delete some of these little remnants that you see in there. Now I'll click on it and I'll make it red. And again, I'm going back to my notes tool, which I like better. And so everything, like I say, is going to color just fine now because um, you're dealing with a vector image now so it is going to everything that you want is is gonna um, turn out fine let's get this I'm gonna get those I want those I want the, the bow to see what I'm working with okay okay and as far as these little circles here um, you know you can grab you can select one Hold your shift key down, grab all of the other ones, just be sure and not do what I'm doing here. And that's selecting something that you don't want. And the way to get around that is to zoom in, because at that point you can't miss just where the all circles are. And I'm just selecting all of them at the same time and turning to white. I can go up to path and say combine. Now they're all one piece instead of separate pieces. Of course, you can't see it on the white uh, background, but they are. Yeah, I don't remember what that little piece is under uh, her neck. And this is why, for me, I never get rid of my original until I'm done with the um, my trace and I'm satisfied with how my trace looks. So that was a little white there and there. 
since that's all white I'm gonna keep my shift key down held down and click on the other ones that I've combined so now I can combine all of it as a matter of fact I will also click on my, that I'm trying to get that so that I can uh, combine all of the white uh, there I could have done the petticoat as well and that just makes it easier for you but that wasn't a purpose of of this and the same thing would apply um, to you know the little holes in our bow but if you encounter this in to where a piece does not color you're gonna have to close the gap first and the way to close that gap is to just click on that bezier tool but you need to look and see what's going on because I was just filling I was filling pieces with color it thinks I still want to feel and I don't I want to draw a line which is a stroke so I'm going to I'll just click on the properties for fill and stroke and fill I'm gonna type that X because that's not what I want but um, I'm trying to draw my line to fill this in and I can go from here to here and nothing is showing because I need to get a color in there now it is showing and it's thick because of the last one that I used um, so I just need to reduce this until that line is thinner or the width is actually what you're changing and it will soon get down to where it's about that same size and let me just click on this. And now that it's filled in obviously I didn't position it exactly where it needed to be I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and grab this red I don't want to stroke now because it thinks I still want to draw lines on something I don't so I'm saying remove stroke and I'm just gonna fill it in and now that piece will cut and you can do the same thing with the bow you can select all three pieces of it and do path uh, combine if that's what you want it to do but I I think that um, from what I saw you were doing a really good job at uh, tracing the raster image but that's what was going on so I didn't intend for this uh, video to be quite so long but I hope it helps you out and you continue um, um, to not be intimidated by the software program if the image is right then your trace is going to end up being right thanks for watching